How's it? Professor Andy here. Now class, let me tell you, if you want to make it to the second round of the World Cup, you need more than just goals, you need mathematics. Here's the Group D table. Now, when the Socceroos beat Serbia, they'll be on four points. And if Ghana beat Germany, the Socceroos are through. But Ghana are shot, so scrap that. If Germany and Ghana draw, the Socceroos are screwed. Because Germany and the Socceroos are tied on four points, but Germany has a much better goal difference. So, if Germany win, Ghana and the Socceroos are tied on four points, and all the Socceroos have to do is make up the five goal difference. To show you how it might play out, here's some mathematical modeling we prepared earlier. So when teams are tied on points, the winners decided on goal difference, goal scored, and head-to-head -head record. So that means if Australia beats Serbia 2-1 and Germany beat Ghana 3-1, the Socceroos and Ghana are tied on four points, but Ghana's got a better goal difference. So the Socceroos are out. But if Australia wins 2-0 and Germany wins 3-0, they're tied on points, they're tied on goal difference, but Australia scored more goals, so they're through. However, if Australia wins 1-0 and Germany wins 4-0, they're tied on points, they're tied on goal difference, and they're tied on goal scored, and their head-to-head -head record is the same. So they have to draw lots. And only one man in the world, Sepp Blätter, knows exactly how that works. But here's how we think it might happen. Scissors, paper, rock. Yeah. Turn around, touch, touch the ground. I go through. But if Serbia are anything like American Samoa and the Socceroos win 31 nil, they should just squeak through. That's all I've got time for. But don't forget to tune in next time when we see whether it's mathematically possible for the Socceroos to keep 11 men on the pitch for 90 minutes. Bye now.